Hi, welcome to Morning Coffee. I'm sitting in downtown Chattanooga. Behind me is a former United Methodist Church. I say former because many years ago, the congregation that inhabited this particular building decided to leave this location and move out into the suburbs. They probably moved out into East Ridge, which at that time was with where the suburban population was, was going. Funny that now East Ridge is considered really part of the downtown area and uh, where we, our church, is located out in East Brainerd are more of the suburbs. Changes happen like that. In fact, it's funny, looking back on it, the United Methodist Church had many, many beautiful churches down in the downtown area. Great facilities that uh, as the population shifted, so did those congregations. And now the population shifting again. Downtown has experienced a renovation, a renewal, a revival. So there's a ton of condominiums going in here and, and people are moving back down into downtown. And so we as a church need to be thinking about how to reach the population that's moving in back here. Sadly, the building behind me now is an event space. You can rent it for weddings or parties. Most likely a congregation is not going back into this building. But our congregation, Christ United Methodist Church, for several years has been trying to come alongside uh, downtown churches that were um, maintaining their faith, struggling perhaps at times, but had a real sense of, of urgency about meeting people where they were. I'm really pleased to be able to say that one of the, the gems of our church's missional life over the last few years has been coming alongside St. Mark's on the North Shore and Bethlehem Wiley down in the downtown area behind the Unum building. Both of those congregations have experienced renewal themselves. While they were down to just a few worshiping, 20, 30 like that, in, in their worship experiences, now they're they're growing and doing wonderfully. They have well over 100 each Sunday. It's one of the great joys of our congregation to be able to help bring life and renewal back to the downtown area. And so that's what I want to challenge you to think about today. What are some areas that you could bring renewal to? It's not always about new, new, new. What's something from your past that you might need to look back to, uh, to take back up, to breathe some new life into it? Maybe your spiritual life. Maybe now is the time for you to reinvest yourself in Bible study or prayer. Maybe it's about being a, a part of a missional effort to reach a group of people that have been neglected. Maybe it's about reaching you by participating in mission and ministry. Whatever it is for you, think about how you can re-engage with something from your past, your heritage, and breathe some new life into it. I hope you have a great day.